How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you the best to-do list app for the Kindle Fire. And it's an app called AnyDo. And this is the symbol for it right here. I'm going to show you how to download it, what it looks like, and show you a couple of features of it, okay? So go to Apps. And then you want to go to Store. And then you want to type in Any. Oh, sorry, you know what? I'm not connected with the internet. Make sure your Kindle is connected with Wi-Fi. Uh, I was uh, testing something for another video and so I turned it off, but no worries. Now we're back on here. Um, so we'll go back to Apps Store. And then search in Apps, tap up there, type in any, A-N-Y dot D-O, any do, and hit search. And there it is, it's the first one that pops up. I do believe uh, it is a free app, and because uh, I already have it, so. Uh, but no, uh, it's free. As far as I know, it's a free app, and you would just hit download right here, and then we'll tap on it. And again, since it's already open, I'm just going to hit open, like that. And here's the app right here. Okay, real simple. But let me show you how it works here, so I can actually speak into it. Oh, in fact, voice input isn't supported as of yet, but that's the feature that we'll be adding in the future. So I would tap in here and I can type in uh, do laundry. Okay. And so there's my one option. This is for today. Okay. I can also type in, let's see, do homework. Okay. And I'm going to type in watch friends my girlfriend loves that show so I just first one popped in my head so these are all events for today okay now I can go ahead and tap on tomorrow let's see oh you know what I'm gonna show you so let's do um, buy groceries okay so I can take buy groceries hold on to it and I can drag it down to tomorrow Okay, so now I have today's list, tomorrow, and then I have the this week list. So you can really kind of organize based upon what you're going to do now what you're going to do later. Okay, so we can do um, uh, finish, um, finish reading book. Okay, that's more of like a project for the week. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag that down here to this week. And then we could do something like, um, what is it? Um, t -t -t get haircut. Now I don't know what day during the week I'm going to do that. So bam, I can drag that, and I also drag that up to during week. Okay. So now we have um, a couple of um, entries here. And so here's a cool thing: once you complete a task, all you do is swipe, and it draws a line through it, and it moves it to the bottom of the list. Okay, so I can swipe on homework. That's done. And you don't have to use a stylus. You can do it with your finger, you know, just a swipe like that. And it puts a line through it. Now, here's the cool thing. It doesn't get rid of it yet. So if you still want to see the list, so you can say, hey, you know, this is how much progress I've made throughout the day. You can still see your list. It's just crossed out. And then you can tap on the X right next to it. And then now it's totally gone. Okay. And then you can, hmm. Thought there was a way you could like reinstate it in case you like make a mistake. Oh, that's how you do it. So if you swipe to the left, it'll like reinstate it. Maybe you thought you finished it, but you didn't finish it. But that's cool. Now you know. Um, and then you can tap on it. And then you can also set a priority level for it. So you can say, hey, this is high priority. Got to make sure I watch friends. Um, it's vital. So we'll tap on there. Oh, it actually, it'll it's change its colors here. So now it's like a darker blue. And so now that is hmm, where to go. Oh, right here. So it shows like personal. You can make different changes there. Uh, you can put in a folder. You can create separate folders for work, personal. You can create different categories. You can also set a reminder so you can have it go off and say, hey, you know, on this day, remind me to do this. Okay, so this is, I just want to show you some of the basics of it. 
But um, this is like my favorite to-do list app, and I'm so mad because I have an iPhone and it's not available for iOS yet. But uh, every Android device can download AnyDo, and uh, just a great app to keep track of all your tasks and things you have to do. And it's free, so I definitely encourage you to download it and uh, enjoy it. All right, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, and subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and have a good one.